Hello, welcome to Chapter 10, Marketing Research. We're going to identify the five steps in the marketing research process first. The first step is to define objectives and research needs, which sounds so simple that managers often gloss over it. But this step is crucial to the success of any research project because, quite basically, the research must answer those questions that are important for making decisions. In the second step, designing the research project, researchers identify the type of data that are needed, whether primary or secondary, on the basis of the objectives of the project from step one, and then determine the type of research that enables them to collect those data. The third step involves deciding on the data collection process and then collecting the data. The process usually starts with qualitative research methods such as observation, in-depth interviews or focus groups. The information gleaned from the qualitative research is then used in quantitative research which may include a survey, an experiment, or use of a scanner and panel data. The fourth step is to analyze and interpret the data and develop insights. The fifth and final step is to develop and implement an action plan. Although these steps appear in progress linearly, Researchers often work backward and forward throughout the process as they learn each step. Describe the various secondary resources is what we do next. External secondary data comprise information that has been collected from outside sources such as the U.S. Census, the Internet, books, articles, trade associations. The internal Secondary data can also be derived from internal company records such as sales, customer lists, and other company reports. Primary data are collected to address specific research needs. Techniques used for primary qualification research include observation, social media, in-depth interviews, and focus groups. Techniques used for primary quantitative research include surveys, scanner, panel, and experiments. Compared with primary research, secondary research is quicker, easier, and generally less expensive. However, if you're using secondary data using big data, then the investment in programs supporting secondary data can be expensive. However, because secondary research is collected for reasons other than those pertaining to the specific problem at hand, the information may be dated, biased, or simply not specific enough to answer the research questions. Primary research, in contrast, can be designed to answer very specific questions, but it also tends to be more expensive and time-consuming. Marketing researchers should gain permission to collect information on consumers, and it should be for the sole purpose of conducting marketing research endeavors. Information should not be collected under the guise of marketing research when the intent is to sell products or to fundraise. And also, marketers must take responsibility for protecting any information that they collect. So please make sure that when you are collecting this data that you are acting responsibly.